Antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites evolve so that existing medications used to kill them no longer work. As a result, the germs continue to grow. An example of antimicrobial treatments is antibiotics. As a result of AMR, some bacteria have become resistant to a lot of different antibiotics. These so-called superbugs can continue to grow even when multiple medicines are used to kill them and treat infection. Why has this happened? Many of the antibiotics we use today were developed decades ago. As a result, patients may have to try repeated courses of different antibiotics to fight infections that used to be easily cured with one treatment course of a medicine. Sometimes patients do not take all of the pills prescribed to them or follow directions on taking the medicine. Unfortunately, this can make the resistance worse. In some cases, antibiotics don't work at all. As AMR becomes more common, more of us could be prone to infections that aren't treatable by any antibiotics. Those infections can even be deadly. This is not a future problem. It is happening now. According to the CDC, more than 2.8 million infections that are resistant to antibiotics occur each year, and more than 35,000 people die as a result. These are daunting numbers, and when likely voters were presented with some background on AMR, 85% said they were concerned about the issue. AMR is a threat to all of us, especially those with chronic conditions. Without effective antibiotics, we don't just lose treatments for serious infections, but we also make the risk of infection much more common for all kinds of medical services, including complex care and more common procedures. Nearly six out of 10 voters feel that not enough research is being done on antibiotics. 76% view developing new antibiotics to combat resistant bacteria as a top priority. And 83% support an industry-led initiative to bring together researchers, government, and academia to focus on what's needed to develop new antibiotics. We need to encourage more development of new treatments to fight AMR, including new antibiotics. To learn more, visit fightinfectiousdisease.org.